to another episode of Entrepreneurs in Fuego. We're documenting the journey of incredible entrepreneurs in this season two, such as Jackie Scully. You spell your name like weird. It's not Jackie like J A C K I E or J A C K Y. Yeah, it's it's torture. Spell, you know, spell, people spell. call me J C. You know, all my life I've just been it's, it's you know, it torture. J A C I. J A C I. And how did that come about? You know, it was just, I think it just, my parents wanted to torture me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they all, man? <laughs> and it was effective. <laughs> you are a phenomenal designer. I, you know, Thank I'm you. gonna take this little card off right here because I, I wanna, I wanna uh -huh. show, this. I wanna show something about your card that I, I'm gonna play um, psychologist too as well. Okay. Because I think it says a lot about you. It's simple, it's clean, it's, focused, is determined, and it's it's powerful without being presumptuous, and I think that that's what your car says. Well, thank you. You know, I, there's a great saying by Leo Burnett that says, keep it simple, yes. you know, keep it memorable, and it's just, that's the way I like to design projects. You know, it, I, I want to stand Perfect. out. And in this competitive market, you it, really need to, you it, know? And, and, that's, and that's what I said about not being presumptions, it's powerful without being, it nice. is because it stands out without screaming. And that's what your card well, it does. Shopping. <laughs> so you did a great job with well, yourself. Thank you. JC. I actually, I told, I told <laughs> myself with that card. What? Because I think working on projects for myself is way harder than say, designing yes. a brochure or um, yes. an outdoor, outdoor um, advertising for you. Yes. It just is, I'm way too hard on myself when it comes to that. So that went through many revisions, right. way too many. <laughs> we, should, we should say at this point exactly what it is that you do. We're talking about you're a brander, you are, what else? Um, I'm uh, a designer by yeah. nature. I've been a designer in, in Phoenix for about 25 years. Mm -hmm. And um, I've also worked on a corporate level for five years and okay. then um, a year ago I was let go from a corporate company and you I'm let back in. You let them go. As my fiance says, they let me free <laughs> exactly. with many other people. But um, with this it, talent, today, today's the day. It's one this, year. I don't know who, who yeah. let you go, yeah. but with this talent, they're a fool. Oh, you're so kind. I but am just, I, I'm, I'm just telling you because this is, this is talent. Just open up more doors and you know, I've had so much great experience since then and before that and it's all part of the journey. So you, you know. oh, you're showing the door and what happens at that point? You're, um, what goes through your mind? The, I mean, the I, first hour? Yeah, uh -huh. you're thinking about the future, you have this incredible talent and well, now course, you're gonna yeah. create a business. Is that, is that where, you, where you were thinking? What, what um, is it? Not at the time, you know, of course you're in the no. fetal position the first time, like, whoa, it's not me, is it? Right. <laughs> but after that I got over it and um, because I was a freelancer before then, you know, I, I just picked myself up and started over and said, you know what, you have clients that you haven't addressed or talked to or people that you haven't, you know, been able to work on things because you're working, sure, you know, this sure. corporate job, just start over. It's about, re you know, recreating and rebranding myself. So it was a good thing. And, and isn't, isn't that what's, what's cool about entrepreneurs, that we can recreate ourselves yeah. again and again and again and again, however many times it's going to take until you many find times. that sweet spot, uh, until the sweet spot. And that's one of the things that I see a lot on entrepreneurs, the successful ones. Right. Even if you fail the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time, it don't matter. Because you got to recreate yourself until you find that sweet you spot. You do. And you know what's great about my business is yeah. every single client is different. Right. You know, I have, I got a new manufacturing client yesterday and I'll be doing trade show booths. And then last week I was designing a logo for um, a woman that does high-end wigs. And you know, I've done a lot of different things. Yeah. Wait a minute. Lee yeah. Woodward? Mm -hmm. Lee Woodward, Women in Disguise, great new brand in town. She is Phenomenal. We Amazing, love her because she right? was a guest here of yes. Entrepreneurs and Fuego. We were just joking this morning that I think half the town has, has already been a, a, a guest here in, in, in Fuego. But but let, let, let me ask you this. Is, is it accurate to say that you have to, you as the designer, as mm -hmm. the brander, it is, it is incumbent upon yourself to interview the client as it is the client's uh, uh, job also to interview you because you, if you're stuck with a client that doesn't get your right. vision, 
you're in a bad marriage, man. Exactly. You're well, in hell. Well, and I totally agree because there's this process that I go right. through and it's called the discovery process. Okay. And it really is about them getting to know my style and me asking questions. I ask a lot of questions. <laughs> you, you have to. I have to you because have to. that's how I get my information right. and that's really what inspires me. You know, because I find out things about these, you know, different businesses that I didn't know, and then I it might send me in another direction. Which is you the, know, which, which is totally fine. Which is total, and, and I think that that is um, going a little bit now with technology being so um, vast and so fast changing. Right. And with all these applications, Fiverr comes to mind, where yeah. where you can just pay five dollars and you have a designer. You know, across the planet, right? Coming up with a logo that does the job. Yeah. Well, and I always say, you know, you get what you pay for. You right. Have a five dollar, you know, right. logo. And so people say that. Oh, my my niece or my nephew is a designer. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, pay for a, you know, a project like that. And that's okay, because you know what? It's really what goes into it and the thought process and you know their strategy of what they want to portray. You know, you've been in the business of designing for mm -hmm. about twenty years plus. Yeah. And <laughs> have you looked at some of the designs that you've done, like fifteen, twenty years ago? And you go, what was I thinking? <laughs> you or, know? And similarly, wow, this I, is good stuff. I, yeah, it's funny because <laughs> um, I just designed this logo for a company called Sonoran Air, like twenty-five years ago. And the other day, I'm driving down the highway and I see Sonoran Air truck, and the logo is on the side of the truck, and wow. I said. You know, I still like it. I still That's love so it. Cool. <laughs> That's so sure cool. But I'm sure there are projects I look at and say, why did I do that parts catalog or, you know? <laughs> what was I thinking back then, man? <laughs> <laughs> Things have changed, but yeah. All right, so now you're, you're a year into your entrepreneurial journey. What are you finding that is the most challenging thing thus far, or at least in this first year? Um, you know, I think really the most challenging thing probably is the ebb and flow of the business. I had a very, very busy, robust spring, and summer notoriously is slow. Yeah. So I've slowed down a little bit. I'm not working, you know, 40, 50 hours a week. I'm only working like 20. So it's being able to, you know, uh, just save up money and be wise about your, you know, business and dealing with the ebb and flow because okay. there's gonna okay. there's gonna be that, right. you know, come. September, it's going to be busy again, you know, do and I'll be turning away business, you know, right, that's right. the thing, yeah, I'll have priorities at that point. Do you find that perhaps in your business, because, yeah, notoriously, here, particularly here in Phoenix, yeah. where this Saturday is going to be like 120. Right, 120 people are out of here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, looking, I'm, I'm looking for a theater or just a stay at home and right. just cranking the, you know. but anyway, um, a lot of us find different verticals so that we don't uh, depend upon just one specific uh, uh, vertical uh, to uh, to survive right. during those off months. Do you consider that? In oh, I do. I also um, I have a production end of my business where I do okay. design. Um, I'm actually a wardrobe stylist, so I've been having the opportunity of working with some really great clients this year. I've worked with Nike Canada and Hyundai and Gabby Reese. I got to dress her. So oh, she's it, a she's amazing yeah. woman, amazing mother, and just wonderful person. One of the best volleyball players. Oh my gosh. Ever. Incredible yeah, yeah, and incredible. so kind and you know and, uh, and I've just I've been able to do some production when my design business is slow. Yeah, and she's married to Lear Hamilton, who is, is an amazing, surfer. amazing surfer. Yeah, yeah, you bet. And they have a very balanced. I yeah, how do you know far? this? <laughs> I just got you all just this, know these things. This ridiculous, you know, things in my head that I just <laughs> just come out. They just come out. They just don't yeah. know when. <laughs> <laughs> as as then as an entrepreneur, what? is um, your plan, say, for the next two years, so that when we bring you back, we're going to do kind of a 60 minutes moment. Ooh. This is what you said back okay. here in July or, you know, what is June? July. It's June 2016, yeah. whatever it is, 2016. Yeah. Now we are in 2018. We're going to hold you accountable. 
Well, Why I, should we hold you accountable I, to? Um, I would probably have to say uh, new types of clients. All right. Break, like, yes, like I was saying yesterday, I broke into the manufacturing businesses, yep. you know, a business that I'm um, going to be doing a bunch of their marketing for them. Cool. But getting new types of clients. You know, I I've have clients that are, were in the golf industry and then also some that were, you know, um, in the entertainment business. But I would like to try new types of businesses to propel them to the next level. Jackie's calling. You're, you're, I notice you're, are you a natural redhead? I am. I was. I'm, you know. <laughs> not, not too many people will get the Scully reference, but. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. The, I'm the other Scully. You're the other Scully. <laughs> You're awesome, man. And you have, and you have a move over, Dana. <laughs> move over, Dana. And you have a beautiful <laughs> smile. That's it. Thank you. I love it. Thanks, Thanks man. You're awesome. <laughs> For that, we're out. Welcome to the remix. Rest in.